Chibata wrestled on this show. He did. Sure did. Couldn't believe it happened. Couldn't believe it was on Rampage. Couldn't believe Mike Tyson did commentary. Couldn't believe Shibata lost. There's a lot I couldn't believe. Mike Tyson was calling Orange Cassidy versus Katsuyori Shibata. That guy's a wrestling fan. He watches wrestling. How the fuck else would he have correctly called an STO of all things? Go out your way to see this. To see how a crowd this big can be this quiet. It felt like an empty arena match. Madison Reigns a trainer for uh, AEW. That's the story. Huh. Yeah. Well, good for her. Ricky Stars comes out of the ring for a promo. Talks about how can you be proud to be a pillar when things are crumbling around here. Why did Ricky Starks say this? Why did Ricky Starks bury the company? In storyline, like, what's crumbling? I don't know. Right. I mean, I don't see anything crumbling in storyline. Ring of Honor has no television show. I don't think a promotion needs a TV champion when you have no TV show. You know, we used to have a guy named uh, Richard in my uh, jujitsu class. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was a big, big, he was like an Omos. He was so big, this Richard. And uh, he could not be rear naked choked. <laughs> really? And I'm not talking about like when people would grapple with him. I'm Hold talking on. about big, he'd, big Richard couldn't get choked. Is that he'd what you're telling me? sit on the ground and you could saying right now. get behind him and put him in a full rear naked. No veins. I'm like Wang. I think there's a purple Wang joke in there. Who somewhere. was so profoundly chokeable that Wang? Do you think CM Punk to WWE can be a reality? I don't think he feels safe there. Do you think WWE feels safe bringing him in? There does not seem to be a lot of excitement about that, from what I've right. heard. There were people that weren't excited when he was going to go to AEW either. Yeah. So it's not their choice. It was a big deal. It doesn't the bloke's matter. Bloke's in charge is choice. And keep in mind that bloke was essentially told by CM Punk that wrestling you at WrestleMania was not very important. But I've seen a lot of Triple H. And I've seen a lot of decisions that man has made over the years. And you know what that man likes? His revenge. Neither Sean nor I can make it on Tuesday. What the huh. fuck's going on? I'm not around Thursday night. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, what a week this is going to be. Well, as long as we're uh, discussing days off, I won't be here on Thanksgiving either. Jesus. Yes. Anything else? No, Vinny. Lance is somehow in Vinny's room. That's very creepy. With Lance. a dog. <laughs> which makes the whole thing even more weird. Or how about it's weird because Lance is in his bedroom. Yeah, Lance, duck <laughs> down at his screen for a second so we can see how creepy his room is. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's creepy. Smoking meat. Yep. Music. That's a compliment. And dad jokes. Yep, that's me. Kyle says, you couldn't hear my Craigism because it was witty, well-delivered, and barely audible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or somebody stepping all over it. That's never happened once. Speak softly to your smoked meat. Excuse me? You heard him. Oh, oh. Max, like, apparently Max heard it, too. Ray Timpson, annoyed silence. Yeah. All right, you ready to do your uh, wrestling report, Granny? Not really. Too bad. Mm -hmm. Lesnar versus Reigns. Newman outside the ring. Lesnar Newman? Is... Newman. <laughs> yeah, Newman. what is Paul it? Newman? <laughs> what is his name? Heyman. Heyman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First boo-boo. Undertaker versus Guerrero. I can't find this match anywhere. No. Chavo. M Miz. That was Chavo. Looks like it. Wrong Guerrero, Granny. Is there more than one? There There's were a, a few bunch. different Guerreros, yeah. <laughs> oh, there is? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. I forgot to tell you that uh, Reigns has now two belts. Oh. Yeah, he... He has he two belts, you say? Who would you pick to beat Roman Reigns? I'll go with Cody. That's such a good answer. I want to steal it. You know who I'd have beat Roman Reigns? Sami Zayn! Okay. But it probably will be Cody. Is that all the answer I'm going to get? <laughs> what do you want? That's what we all think. Bummer. Okay, Marco Stunt next week. Yes. <laughs> Marco Stunt is going to beat him on Monday Night Raw in Dayton, Ohio on December 14th, Granny. That time I had that one show and I didn't know who the players were. Sure. It was from Japan and Freddy and Leatherface, 1993. <laughs> what? Freddy Krueger and That's Leatherface. That's what you reviewed? Now I'm going to give you ten names and I'm going to ask you what you think it is. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. Bam Neely. Uh-huh. Mike Knox. <laughs> I'll start over again. Bam Beely. Neely. Bam Neely. Uh huh. Mike Jindrak. Gene Smitsy. Smitsky. Who's the first one? Bam Neely. <laughs> Who the fuck is Bam Neely? We had this thing called a telephone. Right. Okay. It was a it was a box, and it had a thing that sh- was shaped like a banana on the top. That was connected to the phone via a swirly cord. You would dial the number on the on the pad, and then you'd you'd talk into the thing, and you know the the voice would be going at the speed of light mm-hmm. through a, uh, a cord. Or sound. If I'm sitting in my house and the phone rings, well, I don't know who's fucking calling. There's no screen that says uh, spam risk. So I pick up the phone and I'm like, "Hello," and the guy goes, "Ah!" and he or he breathes heavy or he does something <laughs> disgusting, and you hang up and go, "Fuck that guy!" But then, who was that guy? You pick it up and you type, you you dial star sixty nine, mm-hmm. and then if you were lucky, it would say it would give you the number of the guy that called, and right. then you could call him and breathe heavy. Sure. So anyway, that's the way life used to be. It was really shitty. <laughs>